Welcome to section 5.3, Multiplying Fractions. I love this section because when you multiply fractions, you just multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom. It's really easy. So for this first one, we can multiply our three times five, which will get us a 15 on top. And we multiply our four times eight, which will get us 32 on the bottom. That's it. Let's try the next one. Well, first we have a negative number times another negative number it means our answer will be positive. So if our answer is positive, then we can just do two times two, which will give us a four on top and five times three, which will give us a 15 on the bottom. Let's try the next one. We have a negative times a positive it means our answer will be negative. Three times five, whoops, uh, will be 15 on top, and 10 times six will get us a 60 on the bottom. Well, 15 and 60 can both be divided by three, which will get us a five on top and 20 on the bottom. And five and 20 can both be divided by five. So that would actually give us a one on top and a four on the bottom. So our answer in this case, simplified, would be negative one fourth. Uh -huh. You can use this in practical numbers as well. Uh, so if a postcard is five and a half inches wide and three and three fourths inches long, let's find the area of the card. This is one reason why math people don't like uh, mixed numbers. They'd rather have improper fractions as you get to higher levels of math. Uh, because when you're multiplying mixed numbers, you have to get them into improper fractions first. So five and one half, uh, as an improper fraction, let's see, five times two is 10, plus one is 11. So we'd have 11 halves, and three times four is 12, plus three is 15. So 15 fourths. And to find the area, it's just length times width. So we multiply these together. So 11 times 15, uh, I don't know that off the top of my head, so five times one is five, five times one is five, period is zero, one, one. So 165 over two times four is eight. And that's gonna be our final answer in this case, is 165 eighths. Let's try one more problem here, and then I'll cut you loose for the day. So we're gonna evaluate x squared times y when x equals negative four fifths and y equals two thirds. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to realize that x squared times y is the same as x times x times y. So now I can go and substitute this negative four fifths in for both of our x's and that two thirds in for y. So negative four fifths times negative four fifths times two over three. Now, when you're multiplying multiple fractions by each other, you can still just multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom. So four, negative four times negative four is a positive 16 times two is a positive 32. Five times five is 25 times three is 75. So our answer in this case comes up to 32 75ths. So that's all I've got for you today. Let me know if you have any questions, but otherwise, good luck.